Alright, welcome back. Uh, I'm Wallace. This is Night of the Rabbit. Why did I have to find this stupid thing? Shut up! God, he, he will not stop talking. Oh no, oh no. Alright, I gotta wait around for Mr. Marquis guy to get done with his town council I business. Wait. Oh, so I apparently I gotta wait. There's no, there's no behind you. Just shut up. I'll definitely go there, but not yet. I'm supposed to wait here. Well, can I go? Just leave and lose a chance to become a magician? No way. Alright. There's someone behind me. I, I promised I'd wait. There's nobody behind you. Oh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna like poke him with a stick. <laughs> poke him with a stick. Stick won't help him. Give stick him. Stick won't help him. No, the stick will not help here. I know that much. Rose hips are cool. Can I just go in? The marquee said a. I don't see any hours on. It looks like the mice's clocks only show you whether it's day or night. Well, I guess that's all you need. Well then. What does this great do? Zara. I wonder if that was his stuff, his top hat. Alright, well, let's look at what I can do. Oh, there really is someone behind him. Oh, man. That's creepy. Now he's gone. I knew it. Oh, look at me. Oh, how liberating. What did the ghost look like? Well, he had a pebble head, and uh, his arms were twigs, and leaves. Really? That must have been a wood sprite. I didn't think they were real. You know what? Here, take it. I found it in the woods. Maybe the book belongs to the wood sprite. If you see him, you can give it back to him. Hooray! That's exactly what I want to do. Uh, I thought it was cursed or something. It is. Hello. Sucker. <laughs> yep. I got a cursed oh, book. The mouse with the backpack gave it to me. It's full of writing I can't read. Right. I wonder whether it belongs to that mis- Ah! There you are. Come, Jerry. I want to introduce you to someone. Please excuse this sudden trespass, honored owl and squirrel. Ah, Jonathan, this is the rabbit I was just telling you about. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh but, but that's only Dormouse. Those eyes, eyes that have seen countless worlds. Some say he knows no mercy, but my parents say he was one of the first tree walkers. I was not the first, but I knew him. Ooh the Marquis de Hoto. I was barely knee high to a grasshopper the last time I saw you. In accordance with the tradition of the tree walkers, I hereby present you my apprentice, Jeremiah Hazelnut. I am here to request support for him so that he may learn the art of arts in these woods. Ah, magic, of course. I should have guessed that right away. So this nestling is a new magician's apprentice. And we thought the tradition of the tree walkers had been lost. What? Magician's apprentice, please hold your horseflies for a moment, Jonathan. Certainly not. Tradition demands that we immediately prepare the treetop festival. A new tree walker must be celebrated properly. According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestle? Before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. Precisely. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. I shall wait for you here, Jerry. I'm interested in what's happened here. Mousewood has changed. Does that mean I'm supposed to run around out there all by myself? <laughs> I trust that you can take care of yourself. It's still summer vacation. This is your adventure, Jerry. You think you can do it? Why is everybody looking at me? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, stop! But don't step on the books. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. Huh? Okay, give, give her the book. 
No, I'd better take care of it. Hey, something to read. Harry Otter and the Chamber of Egrets. Yeah. That is a historical novel. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I do. But Conrad's niece, I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> I always tell people. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to you. May I bother you for a second? No, I'm working. What are you working on? Brain work. That means he's staring into space. <laughs> I am thinking. What is that a plan? We must replenish our stores. A crow must have feasted in here during the evacuation. For months, our beautiful mousewood has been subjected to aggressive crow attacks. Those crows are feral, almost incapable of speaking. Ooh, a very unsettling situation. I'll get back. Good luck. Okay. Let's actually do stuff now. Ah, uh, to the coffee shop. It sure smells good in here. Kind of like purple drops. Uh. I know you're out there somewhere. Come back soon. I'll take care of your garden until then. Ghoulies <sighs> nightcap. Sleeping drops. It says a bottle costs one leaf bud. I don't have any leaf buds. Not even one. Getting more herbs. Well, he's on an adventure and will be gone a very long time. Hmm. Ah, I almost forgot something. Apple cheeks. <laughs> One of Uli painted to sugar free lollipops for you. Sugar free? I also baked Uli's herbs into some buns. Yeah. But it turned out that nobody wanted them like that. What? I can't imagine why. I knew you'd appreciate Uli's herbs. Yeah, bro. They're a bit dry. Oh, man. Dry? Uh, just have fun licking the lollipop and nibbling the cake. My little cinnamon bun. Nah. <sighs> That's creepy. Can I take the key? I'll steal this key. I'd better leave that where it is. Oh, come I want to be a magician, not a key thief. Just steal everything well, else. Here they probably sentence you to a thousand laps of the hamster wheel. <laughs> that wasn't that the funny. Oh, the door is open. Cool. Hey, hey, you. This is private property. Get out Uh oh. Well, that didn't work out. Uh. Waste basket. Empty. Darn. Something's not right here. A whole barrel full of little cakes, and yet nobody's eating them. Strange, isn't it? These cupcakes are all his favorite, made with herbs from his pharmacy. Try one. Come on, just a little nibble. Sorry, but I'd rather not play lab rat for the herbal cupcakes. Lab rat? Is that what they call scientists where you come from? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's not important. Yeah. Okay. My name is Welcome to my little tree trunk cafe. Hello, I'm Jerry. Ah, oh, 
your sweet as sugar. Uh. That noise just now. That sounded dangerous. But of course, dangerous and tasty. I'm creating something that no one in Mouse Wood has ever seen. Exploding cookies. Yeah, but wouldn't an exploding cake be better? Trust me, sugar cube. It will be pancake tester. I hope the boy and babysitting will have real fun. Little Humbert is a bit difficult. Everyone thinks he's a nasty, spoiled brat, but he's just under-challenged. Poor gifted child. Maybe my new cookies will keep him on his toes. As far as that, um, under-challenged Humbert goes, have you found an interesting hobby for Humbert? Not yet, alas. Oh, too bad. I'm supposed to order blueberries and baked goods for the treetop festival. Oh, is it that time again? How nice. I will bake lots and lots of cupcakes. And what about this blue juice? I'm sorry, Sugar Plum, but you'll have to go ask the dwarves about that. They haven't delivered any in days. They live at the other end of the cold water brook in the dark wood. Okay. See you later. Take care. Time for some walking. in the middle of the square. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Nice garden. Just look with your eyes. No touching. No. Oh. What's this? Memo. We need more blue juice. Well, barrel looks empty. But the tap can still be used. Steal the tap. <laughs> oh man. Hey you. Everything okay? As uh. as to sleep it off. Okay. okay. Somebody's shirking dish duty. I'm meditating. <laughs> That's a lot of mailboxes. There's a lot of room in our house, and a lot of hairs. We have even more tunnels than the wood to of course. There are only three of them. Alright, let's go this way. Where does this go? That's a crow statue. Oh, I thought crows were a problem here. Why would they build a statue to them? There's not even one bee inside. But judging by the sweet smell, the bees only just left. We'll take some of the honey. If I have the stick, get some honey. That doesn't need to be sweetened with honey. But I want to take some honey. I think this does. Good idea. Yeah. The lollipop already looks a lot tastier this way. Damn right it does. I don't want sugar-free lollipops. Come on now. Maybe you can use it. Well, I'd like to. That's why. Actually. Hedgehog Brothers Carpentry. What can we do for you today? <laughs> Nobody here. Uh, yeah, they all had to leave because of that joke. Wow, what a big leaf. Okay. Large pumpkin. <laughs> My head sounds almost the same. <laughs> hmm. Strange. And locked. Oh, jeez. Nice view. From here you can see the cafe and the city wall. And one of the mouse guard's cannons. Step right up and admire the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Although, that wouldn't be a problem, because we have outstanding glass eyes among all the things you can buy here at ridiculously low prices. R ridiculously low. At Church Mouse and Sun. Glass eyes? And much more. The traveling merchants of Church Mouse and Sun have everything you've ever wanted, will want, and will need. 
even though you don't know you want it, we'll want it or we'll need to have one for it. You talk like an actor. <laughs> Funny you should say that, <laughs> but let's get down to business. What do you need, boy? Church Mouse and Son have everything. I'm looking for something tasty. Maple syrup cheesecake. With walnuts? Even better. A mud pie with twigs and rocks in the shape of a heart. Mud pie? Ugh. Thanks, but no thanks. It's very realistic. Mud fans know what I'm talking about. Isn't that right, Junior? He'll be taking over the whole shop soon. <laughs> and then I'll take a well-earned retirement. Soon you can sell your own mud pies. Junior, <laughs> he's shy, but a terribly good businessman. I believe in him really, really strongly, you hear? Junior, it's so nice to know that your golden years are secure. Well, then take this one time only a small but exquisite promotional gift. A red thread for you. Here, let me tie the thread to your amusing round coin. Which, by the way, will not be accepted as payment. Very decorative. Thanks. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to Church Mouse and Son uh, whenever you need exquisite things. Things of every kind. Pretty things, tall things, small things, white things, bright things, filled things, spilled things, things with sugar, things with mud. Yeah. Silly things. Okay. If you're looking for things, come to Church Mouse and Son. But don't take too long. Soon I'll be handing my business over to my talented son so that I can retire to the coconut palm island. We're still saving up enough money for the trip. Isn't that right, Junior? Junior? Thank you. I'll be sure to come in if I need... Things! Need things. We have stuff, too. All right, things and stuff. Yeah, and junk. Things, stuff, and junk. Now you've got it. Hello, I'm Jerry. Junior? No reply. Hello, Junior. <laughs> He's shy. Step right up and admire the good. Although that wouldn't be big bat. Glass eye. And oh, we're not doing this again. No, 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 no. A sad human face behind Ivy. I wonder who painted that. What a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone picked a glass. I wonder if that's a clue. They smell earthy. I like mushrooms. You can see into the town hall from here. The old squirrel Jonathan has already seen me. Mm. I think he's afraid I'll climb in through the window and walk all over his books. I'd never do that. At least, not while someone's looking. Hmm. What does that? Oh, I guess that goes to the city wall. Let's go to the city wall then. Hello, why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have we even had to evacuate the town? That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then. Kaboom! Usually they fly out. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. 
paws off! The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine a critter like that flying right into the town hall. Again, usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Wink. Even at night. There's a big fish flapping its fin. I think it's waiting for someone. Yeah, I wonder if it is. Hmm, this owl statue looks incredibly wise. It must have seen all kinds of things swim, float, and gurgle past in the brook. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzfack. No need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm Mr. Slick. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're fat, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home, in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why are you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a tradition. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable carts people here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, so you wouldn't happen to be heading to the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem. I'll take care of it. Okay. Hmm. Securely locked. Lame. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll get out of here. Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, magician's apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so. They're invisible, they sting tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> We've had a green hat in the house after all. Ah, we the snakes take me. Dully cats and fly specks. Hail and mud puddles. He can see me, but not if I hold me breath. What? Stop! Oh no, the thief is gone. I have to go after him. Go in there. No, I just don't fit. Instead of following the little guy, I could try to block his way. Well, do I have anything to block it? I don't think I have anything to block this. Like, I don't. The great Zar. I want his top hat. Okay. So I guess we're gonna have to go back to the garden.
No? That's a weird pumpkin. Something about this pumpkin. It's round and big and orange. I can't put my finger on it, but something about it is different. Maybe the big metal pipe coming out of it? Something. It's round. Might be that. <laughs> that might be the problem. Open this door. Hmm. Uh. Supposedly, this was really healthy once, back then, before it petrified. Right. Nothing needs to be. Just wanted to see if I could. Hmm. Smells. I don't really have anything to plug that up with, do I? Throw the book in there. No. Okay, let's go through the tunnel. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy. Ah, I mean, go to the weevil, cursed constable. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. Okay. Again, stop. Ha! I'm standing on a shamrock. It's magic, it gives me strength. I I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. Okay. The little man runs over the rock to protect himself, and then he disappears. Quite obviously with the help of magic. Quite obviously, with the help of magic. I'd better keep it. What if I put the book on the rock? No. No. Can I, can I leave a sweet treat that for him? What about the crumbly cake? But that doesn't need to have hard cake. Darn. That big flower. Hey. I'm just admiring. <sighs> Rubbish. Oh, fine. If you're gonna be that way. Johnny Cats and Fly Specs. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me shamrock. Hmm. I think. This puzzle is going to have to wait till the next episode. Telling Fair out what to stop him with. So I think I think it's about time to call it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever, do whatever you like. Really, I don't. It it doesn't really concern me. If you like the video or not, that's okay. If you don't, anyway. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you next time.